So what I'm going to uh, show you today is a live demonstration of how the um, software works with several uh, Classmate PC machines uh, running at the same time. We're going to have a look at the educational software that uh, Intel and uh, its partners are developed uh, for uh, education. Um, for example, why uh, why give the, the profits to you know Asian companies when instead you can develop um, the local economy of the country by allowing them to sell and distribute and support the product? Yeah, that, that's what uh, you offered uh, in Argentina, I believe. Yes. Like uh, there was this news about uh, Intel uh, willing to invest around fifty million dollars in the local industry. I, I read that. Is that correct? I don't know the numbers, but that's the business model that varies right. from country to country. So um, if we can help jumpstart the process, then it becomes self-sustaining over time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's the model. What, what about the price? We heard um, here in Chile that you are expecting to have a um, lower price by the end of this year. Do you have any anything new about that? Um, yes, we expect the price to be below two hundred fifty dollars by the end of the year, mm -hmm. and that's going to vary. That can vary from country to country as well. Um, since it is local manufacturing, there'll be different local taxes, different man labor costs, different um, uh, component costs. Mm -hmm. um, have you received any? Uh, uh, demand for uh, classmates with uh, the Linux distribution you're working with? Yes, yeah, some countries uh, are, are looking to deploy Linux and, and others are looking to deploy Windows. Since it runs both, the platform can support either. Mm -hmm. So well, it's up to the country. Yeah, but uh, uh, until now, have you received any specific uh, demand for...? We have pilots in Linux so far, but um, no orders for, for right. Linux so far. Right, right, right. But we do expect there will be some countries that will that will standardize on Linux. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like Brazil, for example, probably. Um, for Brazil, will will probably be a mixture. Um, they'll some of the private schools like Bradesco will clearly go with Windows, and then um, some some states will go with Linux, some will go with with Windows. There may be a um, federal government. Uh, preferred configuration, but still, my understanding is states can choose, so there may be a mixture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what about the recent um, news about Red Hat and Intel working together? Is there anything new about that you can tell us? Um, well, they're, they're very interested in computers for education. They're interested in um, ensuring Linux runs good on just about any platform, including Classmate PC. So yeah, that's pretty clear they'll make an investment to make sure it runs well on Classmate. This is the, the Classmate PC that is connected to the internet. In this case, it's connected to school.com, which is online digital content for students in several languages. It includes mathematics and science. So, for example, we can go to the Spanish lessons. And here we have all this, the lessons in Spanish. So this includes mathematics. And then you have several choices from mathematics. For example, numeros decimales. Yep. This means the student can take classes and learn at home with the teacher, without the teacher. It has graphics and it has audio and then text for the student to read. We are localizing it to Chile. 
Yeah, I was uh, just about that to ask that. How do you um, uh, adapt to the local requirements of all the different uh, educational systems? Um, well, uh, we, we localize it by adopting the software for each of the countries. For example, um, the Spanish in Spain, and then a different version for the Spanish in Mexico. And then, um, depending upon the country, there's different words used, different dialects, yep. and we customize. So this is an example when the student has completed the lesson, now they take an online test. And so I'll make a mistake here on purpose. You make a mistake, you get a message encouraging the student to try again. Let's see if I can get the right one. And then you get the correct answer, and it yep. tells you you have the correct answer. So this can be used for online content such as this. It can be used for local content. For example, uh, running Microsoft Office, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Um, even when not connected to the Internet, the student can still develop reports, um, projects, work with other students on projects, even at home if they don't have Internet connections. Um, so, uh, several other languages that are supported. Um, it's being used even in Nigeria and mm -hmm. Africa. You can run videos by running um, Windows Media Player. So it runs high quality videos. It, in real time. can also be used with portable digital cameras for students to create content projects, reports, they can work together. Capability called a uh, note taker, which I'll show you. Oh, that's my favorite one. So to create a new document, you use a, a simple pen and it has a sensor that attaches to the paper so when you start to write, everything the student writes is recorded and can be turned into a, a JPEG or an image and then saved on the computer, sent as an email. Yep. It has a built-in ability. Um, where's parent control? This one doesn't have the parent control on it. But we can demonstrate that on another machine. Mm -hmm. For some reason, this one doesn't have. Yeah. In fact, it does a fine job with YouTube yeah. and online videos. Yeah, that's our video. <laughs> Well, that's me. <laughs>